What is up, people of YouTube.com? My name is RyanSuz18 on the RyanSuz18 Forever channel, and today we are talking about the Legend Killer. We're talking about the Apex Predator of the WWE. We're talking about the Viper Randy Orton possibly turning heel after he cashes in his Money in the Bank briefcase. A lot of you guys have been sending me PMs on, on YouTube, a lot of tweets, a lot of messages on Facebook saying, Ryan, what do you think of Randy Orton possibly turning heel after he cashes in his Money in the Bank briefcase and becomes WWE Champion? Um, like I said in the past, um, you guys can look at my previous video as I talked a little bit about um, an Orton heel turn. I also mentioned it in my Money in the Bank uh, 2013 review. Um, I do see Orton turning heel. Um, there's no question about that. Um, Orton has been faced for a long time now, and um, you know I think it, it really is time for him to turn heel. I mean, he does really get over with the crowd, rather if he's a face or a heel. But I mean, Orton, you know, came to the business as a heel. He came into Evolution in 2003, you know, left Evolution, became a singles competitor, and um, ever since then, you know, he's always been, you know, one of the main guys in the WWE. Now, as you guys can see, I do have my Dolph Ziggler glasses I bought on, on Friday night Smack, at Friday Night Smackdown, so don't forget to check out Smackdown tomorrow night. I also got the Randy Orton shirt, got a Rob Van Dam and a CM Punk shirt, along with wristbands um, of CM Punk, so I'll be doing a review on that. But anyway, going back to the video, so pretty much Randy Orton uh, won Money in the Bank this past Sunday at Money in the Bank in Philadelphia. Um, uh, congratulations to him. Um, you know, I do feel bad for him going through that divorce uh, with his wife, um, but that's not really the point of the video. The point of the video is you know him turning heel. Now Orton, you know, as a heel, had tremendous food feuds with a lot of superstars, uh, such as Randy Orton, The Undertaker, uh, Batista, Triple H. A lot of those guys. I mean, one hell of of a feud with all, all those guys, um, and, um, Orton has a face, I mean, he still gets over with the crowd, um, I'm sure when he turns heel, a lot of people will still like him, I doubt no one will boo him, I'm, I'm, boo him, unless, you know, you're a John Cena fan, or you just don't like Randy Orton, personally, I do like Randy Orton, I, that's why I bought the shirt, I mean, it's the RKO Strike First, uh, t-shirt, which is also available on WWEshop.com, so don't forget to check, don't forget to buy that, it's a pretty cool shirt, but anyway, um, and don't forget to check out Friday Night SmackDown. But anyway, um, Randy Orton, I do see him turning heel. Um, there's no doubt about that, like I said earlier. Um, he will become WWE Champion. I don't see WWE doing what they did with John Cena last year, having Orton say it a, a week prior and then Orton and you know Cena go at it. I do see Randy Orton, and Orton did announce on Monday Night Raw that he will not be doing the same mistake that Cena made last year, um, you know, saying that, oh, yeah, I'm going to catch in the Money in the Bank next week, and it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one match. You know, it's going to be a nice, fair match. Like, no, the Money in the Bank briefcase, you, it's yours. You have the right to catch in whenever you want. But smart thinking is you do it when your your opponent or the WWE champion or World Heavyweight champion is very vulnerable and can't really get up to their feet, and that's when you do it. You don't do it the way John Cena did it, and he lost his chance. He lost his chance to become WWE champion. And um, it was already rumored before that he would, you know, cash in and then lose to CM Punk. And then, of course, CM Punk would go on to have a 434-day uh, WWE title reign. Um, but Randy Orton, I do see him becoming WWE champion. I can't wait to see you know, how he looks. I don't know if he's going to change the uh, side plates on the belt or if he's just going to go with the original look that's on WWE Shop .com. Um, um, Don't forget to check out uh, Friday Night SmackDown. I know I keep saying that, so don't forget to check out for me um, on Friday Night SmackDown. Um, and a lot of you guys have also been asking about the Wyatt, the Wyatt family, um, the, you know, the group that have, has attacked R-Truth, Kane, and as you guys saw on main event last night, they did attack um, 3MB and Justin Gabriel. Um, um, I'll be doing a video on that. I'm also planning a, um, a YouTube tour, of, um, my second one, uh, pretty soon, so don't forget to check out for that. So I could be coming near a city near you, so don't forget to check that out as well. Um, a lot of updates will be on my Twitter account, and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Rises18. I post a lot, uh, some pictures with I had the picture with Layla and a picture with Titus O'Neil. Like again, uh, like I said again, I'll be doing a review on that. So we'll leave me your thoughts on what do you think uh, WWE will do when Orton turns heel? Um, do you think Orton will turn heel? How do you think WWE will work around it? And um, do you think Orton will be you know a long you know, have a long reign as WWE Champion. Leave all your comments down below. Um, all links to my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook will be down below in the description box. Till the next video, guys. I'm out. Deuce. Show.